This video will demonstrate how to log into the EdLeo District website and edit pages. First, we'll cover how to log into the website and enter your contact information. Next, if you are a public staff member, in other words, somebody who works with parents or interacts with the public, we'll demonstrate how to upload a picture. And last, our elementary teachers use their district web pages for their class pages, so we'll demonstrate how to create and edit those pages. Before you can do anything on the website, you'll need to log in with your school Google account and enter your contact information. If you are a district employee, make sure you go to the district website and you can check that by looking at the heading at the top of the page. If you work in one of the school buildings, same thing. Make sure that you have that particular school at the top of your heading. Next, you will scroll down to the bottom of the page on that particular website and click the Login button. To sign in, simply click the Sign In with Google. Select your school account. You'll be asked if you already have an account or if you need to create a new one. Click the Create Account button. Next, you'll be asked to select a series of questions in what areas that you're allowed to edit. You can simply scroll down to the bottom and click Submit. Our technology staff will give you the permissions you need to edit your particular pages. This will take you to your profile page. First thing on the profile page you can do is to click the Edit Your Profile button. Next, verify that your email is correct, that your first name, last name are correct. Where it says Position, put in your position. As you scroll to the bottom, click the link that says Additional Information and find the Phone field. In that field, enter your school phone number. In other words, the number where somebody would call you at school. Leave all the other fields blank and click the Save button. You've now created your Edleo account and entered your contact information. Please note that your contact information will not appear in the staff directory until the technology department has verified your account. Next, if you're a public staff member, you will want to upload your school picture to the website. Again, if you work with parents or anybody in the community, um, you'll want to have your picture uploaded to our district website so it's contained within your contact information. The easiest way to get your school picture is to go to Infinite Campus. Once you've signed into Infinite Campus, on the left-hand side under the Index tab, you can click on Census, select My Data, and where you see your picture, just right-click on the picture, a menu will pop up, and click Save Image As. You can save your image to your computer so that it can be uploaded onto the uh, district website. Now, if you're a teacher, when you sign into Infinite Campus, you may see this type of screen. In order to get to the Campus Tools, simply go up to Instruction, click the pull-down menu, and then select Campus Tools so that you can see your uh, My Census and My Data area. Now, back over on your district or school um, dashboard for Edleo, if you go up to your account and profile, that's going to take you to this profile page. Again, you should have already entered your information as far as your, your uh, position and your phone number. When you're ready to upload your picture, simply go under the My Photo area, click the pencil icon, click Select a Photo from your computer. This would be the one that you just downloaded from Infinite Campus. Select your picture, click Open. Your picture will upload. You can move the crop area to center your picture, click Crop and Save, and your photo will be added to your profile. As we mentioned, elementary teachers use their class pages to communicate with parents and provide additional information. To create a class page, you can click on Pages, or in the upper left-hand corner, click on the menu icon, go to Page Management, and Pages. Any pages that you have created will be listed here. Being we just created our account, we'll have to go up to the Add Page button. We're going to add a blank page. And on the blank page, obviously, we will not have any content here. So to add a content container, we're going to go down to scroll down and click the Add button. Here we're just going to add content. When you add content, it's going to give you a content container to put in your text. You'll also notice that you have a traditional um, text toolbar at the top for entering and changing formatting of your text and adding pictures and etc. So if you're just transferring um, content over from another page, so in this example, I maybe have some content from another website or maybe even from a different document that I want to highlight, I can select all of that on my keyboard, Control-C to copy, 
or right click on any of the blue highlighted area to choose copy. And now over in my content container, I can just um, erase the text that's given there. And again, either go control V to paste or right click and choose paste. That content will appear for the most part as it showed on the other document or web page. You may have to do some formatting to change uh, some of that content. And then just simply click on publish. When I click publish, that just means that it's being saved and being published to the website under my profile area. In this case, it does tell me that the page title is required. So I'm going to click OK, scroll up to the top. I forgot to add that page title. In this case, it is our uh, peak at the week. Now I'll click publish. The way parents will find this page is if you go over to your school website, go down to your contact information and go to staff directory. You can locate your contact information, click on your name, and the content will appear on that page. If you'd like to create multiple pages, go back to your editing dashboard, click on the menu, page management, pages, click on add page, blank page, enter a page title, scroll down, click the add button, you're going to add new content, and now you can enter your content in here um, as you did in the previous example. When I'm finished, I'll click publish. You can see your menu on the right hand side. Again, when a parent sees your page, I'll just refresh here. They will now see your home page and a menu off on the right hand side underneath your contact information. This video demonstrated the basics of getting started with the Ed Leo District website.